Welcome to Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. My name is Brad Palmer, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to Nolan Rollins. He is the president and CEO of the Los Angeles Urban League, recently arrived from New Orleans. We'll talk about your thoughts in a moment, but first I want to talk more generally about the Urban League. For those that are not aware of it, what is it? Sure, the Urban League is a, a nonprofit organization that deals in both direct services and policy development. We are 90 years plus old here and 100 years around the nation. Uh, we focus from a direct services standpoint on education and youth, uh, economic and community development, and policy and social justice, and really dig in deep to really figure out what we can do to make this community stronger and the opportunity for uh, individuals stronger. So you come to us via Baltimore, via New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans obviously quite challenged over the last decade. Los Angeles, to me, seems as if has had a pretty good few years in terms of community relations. 1965, very difficult. 1992, very difficult. But surveys in the wake of the anniversary of the Rodney King riots indicate that the community seems to feel as if there's a sense of one. Sure. People of all different races, creeds, ethnicities feel a bit united. Do you yeah, see that? Yeah. We, you know, I think there, there's a, uh, a, a uniting principle in tragedy, right? There's always mm -hmm. those uniting principles. So the question then becomes, was once we're united, then what do we do? And I think when you look at the, the numbers across the board, when you look at kind of unemployment, when you look at the opportunity gaps, when you look at the things that are really important to creating a good, strong city, we're still challenged in those spaces. So while it may be not as obvious as it used to be with the challenges that we have, we still have challenge of sustainability that we really have to look at as a community and as a city to really tackle. So so as you look forward in your tenure, um, how do you hope to tackle those challenges? You know, I think that for us, we, we're going to do what we do well. We're going to do business development right. well. We're going to do workforce development well. We're going to work in the early childhood development space very well, work with our parents very well. But we're also going to talk about the policy that's, that's incredibly important to having the whole system do well. And then we're going to be kind of this voice of reason that's going to point out other places where if, e if other folks are doing well in these areas, then the city is going to do well itself. So we're going to really be there as that voice. And I understand that many voices will be speaking on April 26th at the Absolutely. Beverly Hilton Hotel. We're celebrating the 40th awards dinner. It's called the Whitney M. Young Jr. Awards Dinner. Tell us about it. You know, we're, we're very excited about this. Um, we're excited about the name, the legacy that it holds with Whitney M. Young. Tell, which tell is, us about which is, Whitney Which M. is Young. incredible. Whitney, um, when you think about transformative figures in a movement, Whitney is one of those transformative figures for the Urban League. He was a former president of, of the National Urban mm. League, he tragically died at a young age. But what he really did was he set the organization organization on a trajectory to really understand its importance in the nation, how its work was extremely important to kind of making stronger uh, uh, business relationships, stronger relationships in government, strong relationships in community, and really being there as that voice who can actually build the bridges between all of those. So Whitney is a transformative figure in the organization, and that's why this event is really named after and him. And you'll be honoring some transformative figures of today. We really are. Tim Lawicki, president of AEG. Linda Johnson Rice with uh, Johnson Publishing Company. Uh, Which we, publishes some of the nation's they, best just, magazines well, I mean, around. That's right. When you look at over the years, the, really the coverage that they've made, they've, they mm -hmm. have been the, the, the community's coverage, the community's voice, which has been very important. She's remarkable. She is, really is remarkable. She's remarkable. Right? And, we, and we have the, the luxury of having uh, General Colin Powell to be wow. our keynote speaker, which is incredible. Wow. Which is absolutely incredible. So can we attend? I, I, anyone can we can attend? attend? Even people like me? I mean, Every, slackers like me can go? Absolutely. You How know, can we attend? This is, uh, you can go online to, to our website uh, mm -hmm. to actually get information about that. And, Which and is laul.org. Absolutely. And Facebook, of course, LA Urban League is the name. Absolutely. And we can buy tickets You'll there. be able to purchase tickets right there. Absolutely. Well, all I have to say is congratulations. Thank Los you. Angeles is very lucky to have you. I'm Thank glad you. you're here. He is the new president of the Los Angeles Urban League. His name is Nolan Rollins. My name is Brad Pomerantz. We thank you so much for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.